Hi, my name's Glenn. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Joined the Navy when I was 18, served 30 years, retired as a Master Chief Petty Officer, and usually voted Republicans. I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016, primarily because what he said about John McCain, that I'm a big fan of. But before I get into Donald Trump, I got some messages for people of Texas and South Carolina. I have uh, ties to South Carolina. My daughter was born there, and I served two submarine duty tours out of Charleston, South Carolina. So, it's a wonderful state. People are great, great food, great beaches. Um, but sadly, I used to like Lindsey Graham, but he's gone off the rails. Um, he's turned into a lap dog of Donald Trump. Fortunately, you folks in South Carolina have a great candidate in the name of Jamie Harrison who will do you a much more better service than Lindsey Graham. Now, all you folks in South Carolina, before you get on to me about our senators here in Texas, I'm getting to them. Ted Cruz is a sniveling weasel who won't defend his own family, but he's not up for re-election. But John Cornyn, equally a toady of Trump, is. And we've got a great candidate and M.J. Hagar, a combat-decorated helicopter pilot who will represent the people of Texas regardless of party affiliations. Ted Cruz and John Cornyn are cowards. They got streaks of yellow down their backs so bright that if they laid face down in the middle of Interstate 20, they could pass as a center lane divider. And ironically, that would probably be the only time they ever did any infrastructure improvements for this nation. So, anyways... And every other a neighbor of Trump that's up for re-election, I encourage every person in that state to vote him out. Now, Trump, yes, I'm a big fan of McCain. And when Donald Trump disparaged him before he became president, he lost me. I did not vote for John, Donald Trump. And I'm not going to vote for him again. I've already voted for Joe Biden and M.J. Hagar. Uh, Trump, of course, I could get into a long diatribe about how... Um, he's disgraced and disparaged our veterans, including myself, uh, not to mention the disgraceful way he treated Lieutenant Colonel Vindman and the uh, fact that he won't stand up to Vladimir Putin with reliable intelligence that he put that man has put bounties on our troops' heads. So that's enough for that. But the pandemic is what concerns me the most. Donald Trump has done worse than nothing. He had a pandemic playbook turned over to him by Barack Obama, which was originated in the Bush administration. But his administration, Trump's, disbanded that pandemic department in 2018. Why did he do that? I can only guess, but I believe it's because his hatred and jealousy of Barack Obama runs so deep that he won't do anything or utilize anything that would be anything to do with Barack Obama. So he lied about the pandemic and put people's lives in danger and killed people. Um, so anyways, what concerns me the most is this. Yes, we got over 230,000 dead Americans and counting. And if Trump gets reelected, there's a good chance we could have another pandemic. That's why they set this up, because there's... Who knows what exotic virus will jump from an animal to a human overseas and make its way over here. Donald Trump has demonstrated his ineptness and incompetency to handle this. So I urge all of you, if you haven't voted yet, do not vote for Donald Trump. Joe Biden was in the Obama administration. They handled the Ebola pandemic, and they can handle it again. Do this to save the country. There's no time for partisan politics. Save this country, get rid of Trump. Now, I know there's a bunch of people out there that will vote for Donald Trump no matter what because, you know, that's his party. I get that. Um, but here's some advice to you. Instead of voting for Joe Biden, if you're going to vote for a puppet, vote for Howdy Doody. I mean, think about it. He's all American and his strings aren't being pulled by Vladimir Putin. But if you can see your way clear to do country over party, now's the time. 
Joe Biden is the right choice. God bless all of you and God bless America.